that cut not so very big. Just a bit of a scratch, really. What tremendous give and take we saw there with the fists from both these guys. Thrilling first round once it warmed up. Oh, we saw that Kim is ready, willing, and able to mix the kicks up and then come back up high with the punches. And Vu's thrown some nice combinations with hooks and uppercuts and had some success. You see right there again, Kim with the... With the I thought about throwing a back fist spin, but didn't follow through with it. And then Vu in on a nice double leg. Good drive all the way to the cage. directly above them there, and as, as uh, Kim's body was lifted up. Just ran and hopped onto Kim's back here. He nearly headbutted the camera, but they're, they're safe. Kim's got kind of a funky position here. He has one hook in, he's gonna slide off and end up being in guard here because his left foot wasn't inside the, the hip of Kim, but we get to see how Vu works off of his back and what kind of offense now he can mount from here. Kim's gonna try to work to push down on that left leg of Vu and work to pass and improve his position. Start to work his right leg free. That's kind of the chess match that goes on here when you're on your back. The guy in the bottom wants to regain guard position, look for submissions or sweeps. The guy on top is just constantly working, just like Kim did there to move him the side in the mount. He's working a lot with that forearm and elbow into Tanbu's face. That's called staying busy. So the refs like to see when you're on the ground. That's a good job of using the cage there. Yeah, that is a good job. You can do that. You can't grip the cage with your toes, although you do see fighters get away with it quite often. But... It's kind of hard to, to tell where, where the grip is. Yeah. If anyone ever beats someone because that guy was able to grip the cage better with his toes, you probably shouldn't be fighting at that level of MMA anymore. Lead to the head there from Kim Tanbu, the recipient. And that's another one he was looking for there, didn't quite connect that time. Well, that's one of the things that I love about the rule set here in 1FC is that the, the knees to a downed opponent being allowed, it just creates much more of a, of a dynamic uh, movement on the ground because you can't get lazy and just kind of sit there and punch or be complacent. And while we're talking about rules, and given that we're in the middle of the second round, worth emphasizing that the judging in 1FC is on the fight as a whole. There's no 10-point must system, no round-by-round -round scoring. This system far better suited to mixed martial arts and five-minute rounds. And there's Vu's working on that right uppercut again. He, he connected on it on two occasions with those hooks and uppercuts. Nice little short elbow thrown over the top by Kim. As they get a little more tired, those punches are very sort of army, not much shoulder and body behind them. There's a two, some good punches there though from Kim. Really connected very well, and Tan Vu goes down. And then he takes a kick to the head, and he's in big trouble now. Will he get through this? Took a knee to the head as well, and here come the forearms. I don't think this will go on much longer. Trying to create a little distance here for a little more powerful punches so that the referee can see that he's really doing some damage here because he had, he had Vu just rock with those, those punches that came through. Goes to around the eye, and that's, if, if he can just keep this up, I think the referee's going to jump in. He's asking the question, Olivier Cost, are you all right? Are you want to give up? You have to be able to intelligently defend yourself too, and the referee sees that you, you went to a knee, then you got taken down, now you're turning your back. These are all very defensive movements that say that you're in trouble. But speaking of being in trouble, and another rear naked choke is pretty well, deep. There it is. That is it. Well, the rear naked choke did it, but it was the punches that preceded that move that finished the fight. And look at the elation from Kim's corner. Improves his record to 9-0-1, and that is quite a fine record. Well, it's great action back and forth. Tan Vu showed great takedown defense, good takedowns, nice jiu-jitsu work, threw some good combinations together. But at the end of the day, Kim was able to improve the 9-0 and show that he's just a little more proficient everywhere that this MMA fight went. Had some nice striking combinations.
And right after he rocked Vu and put him on Goofy Street, <laughs> he had wobbly legs, got into the mount position, and then Tan Vu rolled over, exposing his back. Kim did a good job of seeing the rear naked choke. What he said, let contest, me just though. cash this check and call it a day. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Olivier Cost calls a halt to this bout at four minutes, 10 seconds of round number two for your winner by submission via rear naked choke, J. Juan K. Marvelous entertainment for this crowd at the Mall of Asia Arena. Both men giving everything. Really exciting stand up. Yeah, it was just a great, great flurry of punches by Kim here. You see that initially, Vu took a knee, got wobbled a little bit, and then it was just a barrage of knees and elbows that just constantly kept pressure on Vu. And Kim took him down, did a nice job, striking, ground and pound, right to the submission. Textbook 